everybody this is your teacher Daryl and what we're going to do is we're going to go over the reading that's going to be for today and this is on page or on pages 90 and 91 and in this unit we're going to cover should shouldn't right and the imperatives and the imperatives are like don't don't do that don't smoke do play the piano do exercise right things like that those are imperatives and you're going to hear a lot of that in this reading okay and this is this is unit 8 health four things are important we all know we should have a healthy diet but we should also drink water exercise and get enough sleep we need water to keep our body and mind healthy. Don't forget that two-thirds of your body is water. When you, you lose this water, you should drink to replace it. When you don't have enough water, you get dry skin, dull hair, you, and you feel tired. You should drink about six glasses of water a day. But you can get some of this water from the food that you eat. For example, cooked rice contains 60% water. You should drink, you shouldn't drink too much water. Believe it or not, you can die from drinking too much water. Exercise is good for your body and it helps to burn calories too. After a hamburger, large fries, and a milkshake, you need to run for more than three hours to burn the calories or you will gain weight. Exercise also helps your brain and can change your mood. When you exercise, you forget about your problems because your body makes chemicals that make you happy. It does not matter what kind of exercise you do. You can walk, dance, go for a swim or ride a bike. Try to do about 20 minutes every day. Did you know that sleep is more important than food? An adult male can survive three weeks without food, but only three days without sleep. You need different amounts of sleep at different times in your life. Teenagers and young adults need between eight and 10 hours of sleep a day. Babies need more and older people need less. It usually takes about seven minutes to fall asleep. Some people have promised falling asleep. Louis XIV of France had 413 beds and went from one bed to another to fall asleep. Ah, very interesting. So you learned a lot from this. And as you can see, we have other imperatives like don't, right? Don't. Oh, yeah, that's an imperative, right? Don't. All right. And things like that. So this is what you know. Did you know? All right. And this is that's an imperative, right? And we have should and shouldn't. Okay. Well, I'll see you in class next time. I want you to read, listen, and repeat about three times and I'll see you in class tomorrow. Goodbye.